I've got the kayak loaded on my car and I'm going to try this. Here is the parking lot, but she said I could try and drive right down to unload. I arrived safely and took the kayak off the roof. I am off. It is 9.30 on a Saturday morning, August 10th. Absolutely beautiful day. Pawtuckaway Lake is active. I hear campers. I smell campfire. I met a few different friendly people getting uh, our boats in at the canoe launch. And I have just launched and I'm just sitting here thinking how fabulous this is. Morning. Okay, I'm going to check it out. I suppose this cove is Neil's Cove. Also, I think it's a good idea to paddle into the wind because then if I get tired, like, I can rely on the wind a little bit to help push me back. to this little island and put up their hammock. I don't know if you can see it, but this is pretty close. I'm not going to get off. That's neat. A little reading nook. Some of the people I was talking to at the beginning hadn't been here before and they asked me what I what they should look out for and I said, well, there's these rocks. <laughs> and at first you just see the tip of the rock and then you get closer, you realize it's quite large. Kayaks don't have much problem because they're just so shallow in the water, unlike a boat. And fishermen must have to pay a lot closer attention to these boulders but they're sort of here and there throughout the lake and they're really beautiful to look at. I'm going backwards. I have come out of Neil's Cove. So I think I'm gonna come around to some of these little islands. That looks like a great house. You went right under my feet. Oh, 
a boat went by and the lady told her guests that these loons, the gray loons, were juvenile. So they are the offspring of the black loons, she said. So they went right through and the dogs barked at the loons. The loons didn't care. They're just fishing. They're catching a lot of fish and they're just doing their thing here. And I'm just sitting here floating trying to get the guts to uh, disembark at that island. So I'm going up to this island to see if I can get out and get in again. Bottom. Oh, here we go. This would be even better if I had lunch. Oh. Yay. Okay. Well, there's a sign over there and it says swimming and beach area only. And even though this is an adorable little beach, I, I don't think that's what they meant. I think they meant the proper beach where the lifeguard is. So I guess I'm not swimming. I might just wade in and then take off again. But wouldn't this be a great picnic spot? There's a little bench and actually the bridge goes over to the campground if you were camping over there. Beautiful king pine trees here. These very large, beautiful trees. Well, I guess I'll get back in my kayak. Oh yeah. All right, now to get back over this. <sighs> Was that a real loon? Wow. Yes, it is a real loon. Sounds so much like a... What is he saying? Okay, there's a bald eagle. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is... Okay, that works too. He is massive flying right over the lake. Oh my goodness. He's huge. He's huge. Let's just go over there. <laughs> I land. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, he's right here, okay? He's flying all around. He's just absolutely massive. Can you see that? Gosh, let's go over there. Kick it. Kick it up. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Look how low he is. Unreal. Water is so nice. These clouds are really cool.
Bye, Lake. See you next time. I am back home now. The boat is still on the roof. Everything survived. It was all good. I talked to another couple as I was leaving there at the boat launch. They said it was their t first time out this year too with their kayaks because they felt the same as me. A little trepidation about putting it on the roof and doing all the little steps. And they had different work schedules keeping them from just making it happen. And you know, you have to make it happen. Good, good times. Can't wait to go on the next one.